Hello everybody, my name is Ernie Man. I hope you guys are having a slow time doing all good things. Yes, of course, and I'm here to make a video for you guys because it's been so long and I need to make a video because it's been a while. Okay, so I need to start off by saying a big giant thank you for all of you guys for sticking around. It's quite amazing. If you guys are seeing this from the past and like wondering where the fuck were you? And I was like, dude, I am sorry. I just been gone a lot, been busy. I haven't had a lot of free time to myself. And the only free time I get is like late nights. And that is why I stream like so late because I just don't have a lot of free time during the day. Cause I live with my, with my nephew and parents and stuff like that. And it gets really hard to record stuff. And also my new job takes up a shit ton of my time, but a lot of stuff, a lot of time is cleared up nowadays. Cause we kind of tone down the work and stuff like that. I work at home. It's fucking awesome. I, I love it. But besides the point, um, I've been streaming a lot more. So if you guys want, want to catch my streams, because on September the 1st, um, Metagross Solid Fat and Pain is coming out. I'm going to stream that shit to no end. Probably going to probably gonna stream that until I beat it like five or six times during the same day. I'm not sure. Maybe the, maybe maybe for the, for the next two days when it comes out. Because knowing me, how I, how I do things, I'm going to play that thing to no fucking end. I am... I, I, dude, I bought Ground Zeroes recently. I can't stop playing it. I, I, it's, it's, you can beat it in less than 15 minutes, but it's so fucking fun. Like, nice. oh my God, it's beautiful. It runs phenomenal on PC. It's, a, there's no fucking issues. Look at you, Rocksteady, and your bullshit practices. Cause I got that game for free when I built my PC, but I can't play it because of bullshit. Nah, but yes, this, 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 that bullshit going on and then Venom Pain coming out in three days or whatever I don't remember the, uh, it's going to be insane come to my stream okay gonna stream that shit I don't know how long maybe like forever until I beat it a thousand times and get bored of it and keep on playing it because I'm Metal Gear Solid Freak because yeah you guys know the story actually with my Metal Gear story um it's quite interesting actually let's do a video on Metal Gear because oh my god I love Metal Gear so much dude I it was one of the first games I ever played on any console and any in, 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 in any form of, of like anything. And I love that game to no end. The music, the style of the gameplay. When I first saw Metal Gear Solid 1, when I first saw it, I was like, this is fucking awesome. I, I was always scared at the, ver at the very first mission when you, when you go inside the place and the one underwater and you're, in, you're inside the plant and you're trying to make your way to the elevator. I was so always, I was always so scared of that of that mission because I was always scared of getting caught. Because this is back when I was like really scared to die in games. I was like fucking five years old or some shit. I forget how old I was, but I played that shit. And I was, and it was a demo too. It wasn't the actual game. And I was just so stuck at the same spot in, in that level. I could never progress to the elevator. And when I finally did, it took like several years to figure it out. To be like, oh, this is what you gotta do. You gotta sneak over here, sneak over there, and then go to the fucking elevator. It's the most easiest fucking level. But back then, it was the hardest thing ever, and it was the scariest thing ever for me. And ever since then, I, I, I could not stop playing Metal Gear. Like, ugh, man, like Metal Gear Solid 3, I played that to no end. Freaking Metal Gear Solid 2, it... It, it it did it did that huge curveball where you're you only playing as Raiden for seventy five percent of the game and then you then you play as as Solid Snake, and it's like, damn like, I at first I didn't like it but then you, then you fall in love with Raiden and I was like I love I like Raiden now you know and it's crazy because when I finally moved over to Metal Gear Solid Four, I didn't have any games when I bought my first PS three I didn't buy anything I I just bought the PS three and I was like what do I play now. So my cousin let me borrow his PS3 because actually, to the fact, this is before buying a PS3, and he gave me two games. He gave me his PS3, his Mega Sod 4 copy, and Modern Warfare 1. Guess which game I played more the hell out of? MGS1. It was oh my god, dude. MGS1, MGS4 was just like the godsend of all Metal Gear Solids. I played that thing to no fucking end, unlocked everything, even even grind out credits just to fucking buy the stealth the stealth thing. And just because, because why the fuck not? You know, just fucking hell. And I was never a fan of MGO, most likely because it's super broken. It, it <laughs> Dude, it was amazing to the point where like CQC, it's still broken, even in Metal Gear Solid Phantom Pain because in Ground Zeroes, you can grab people that are like literally like 10 feet away from you and it's like uh 
That better not be an MGO because that was a big issue for MGO in Metal Gear Solid 4. Like, if you could master it, no shit, you, you were caught within like 10 feet of, of somebody, of some enemy player, an MGO. I was, and I was always pissed off because no matter how many times I tried to see you see somebody, he would always win because I'd always be like, okay, I have to get super close to this guy before I can do it. No, you can be like fucking 10 feet away and he can get you. And it's not a hack. It's true. That's, that's exactly how it was. And if you can learn that, it was insane. And, and there are lobbies where you can learn CQC. And I was in those lobbies and I just kept getting caught. I could never learn it. Like the range, it was ridiculous. Like, I was like, what the hell? How do you do this? You know, and it's just, damn, Dan. I hope they fix that and an MGO from it for, for the Phantom Pain. I really hope they do because that was so irritating for the console. It was, it was unplayable. You couldn't fight anybody. There was nothing like... Fuck, like it was a fun, it's, MGO is fun because you can customize your character any way possible you want, you know, granted you, you granted, you granted, you grant, you grinded out the, the credits and stuff like that, but dude, if the Phantom Pain engine is so amazing, like you can sprint now, it's not, it's not like, you know, little, little sprint walk, you know, it's, it's actual sprinting, he's actually sprinting, it looks amazing, and the graphics are amazing, and I have it on PC, so I can't wait for that because, Dude, this gaming PC is amazing, and the graphics, the hold up, oh my god, and playing on extra high, it's, the Fox engine is beautiful, I love it, oh my god, it's so fucking awesome, I can't, I can't stress enough, like, people say, like, PC gaming, blah blah blah, I'm not a PC gaming elitist, but, I, I hate how much, how, how deprived I was playing on the PS3 and Xbox 360, I hate how deprived I was on console, cause, Dude, as soon as you play like PC games on a high-end PC like I am right now, you, your perspective changes. You you start to realize why people are PC elitists and stuff like that because because <laughs> there are times well I I would always talk about something, and for some reason like that PC elitist thing just came out of nowhere and said you know what your fucking console can't fucking do what this thing can do and I was like where the fuck did that come from? <laughs> and my friends like. You have come to the dark side. And I was like, no. <laughs> that was the first time I ever I ever talked back to somebody saying something like that. And I felt so like out of it after I said that. I was like, I cannot believe I just fucking said that. Like, where the fuck did that come from? Like, it changes you, man. Playing on PC and playing on all that awesome graphic goodness, it changes you. It changes a man. It really does. But aside from that, like Oh man, I Metal Gear Solid Fan of Pain for me just it looks fantastic. That trailer that trailer that last trailer that came out out of Kojima, I literally bawled at the end of it. It was just so so sad and I just it sucks this is gonna be the end. It really does. I just Ah man, I, I can't I can't think about it. I can't think about I think I can't I can't understand or fathom the the end like this this is the end this is the last metal gear we'll ever get to play like we'll probably play like some other bullshit ios bullshit that konami's gonna release because they own the ip but this is the last like true to form kojima made metal gear solid like that's it that blows my mind and it's just like oh man it, it sucks because i i love metal gear I hate to see it go, but it's understandable. You know, it it's it, it's at its end. It's done it's forever and possibly forever. Well, Kojima made ones anyway, and and I, I just I just I just have such a, such a big history with Metal Gear, like such a big history. Like those are one of my first games I ever touched or played, besides the fighting games. You know, like the, be the only fighting I ever ever tried was. X-Men vs. Street Fighter, and that was the only game I ever touched, ever, ever Street Fighter game I ever touched. That and the old Super Nintendo ones. But other than that, the only games I ever, like, really, really played and really, really enjoyed was Metal Gear. I never really played Sonic, never really played Super Mario Bros. too much, never played anything else. I was deprived of a lot of games, but the only game I ever got to play was Metal Gear. I, was, I played that to no end. Metal Gear Solid 4 and PS3, I constantly played that. Even when I got new games for the PS3, I constantly played PS, like, Metal Gear Solid 4. I could not get enough of it. It was ridiculous, you know, and it's just, fuck man. It's, it's crazy, crazy. But anyways, you guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this commentary of going back in time, talking about Metal Gear Solid. Dude, I could talk about Metal Gear Solid for days and years. I, just, oh God, it's amazing.
but yeah like you guys you guys have been amazing you know I'm, I'm surprised you guys are still here on my channel subscribe to me and stuff like that if you guys are watching this and probably thinking like where have you been well I'm back man I'm making videos again hopefully and I'll have some ideas for you guys I definitely want to do some phantom pain phantom pain projects and stuff like that because oh man this this is crazy like this game's amazing I can't can't wait for it to come out and play it to no end like I did with Metal Gear 4. I, I can't wait. But yeah, you guys, I hope you guys are having a lovely day today and all things good. Today is birthday today or any other day. I did not decide to upload. Then of course, happy freaking birthday. Hotabots, roll on.